This Christian movie says that you shouldn't kiss anyone until you're married. Not to put a ring on it. The film's called Princess Cut, and it's one of the funniest, most backwards films you've likely never heard of. Things begin with our main character, Grace, scoping out wedding rings. Reason being, it's her 15-month anniversary with her boyfriend, Stuart, and she believes he's going to ask for her hand in marriage. But there's just one small problem. Stuart, we need to talk. Her boyfriend proposes to a completely different girl. We're engaged. Because they were never actually dating in the first place. I watched him with his ring on another girl's finger. Huh? Honest mistake, it's not like this has happened before. Why does this keep happening to me? <laughs> Soon after, we meet her chauvinistic dad Jim and guy who looks like he's trying to sell you a Papa John's pizza. Fathers give their daughters in marriage. Who am I gonna give our daughter to? Jim is a truck-loving, farm-tilling, red-pilled North Carolinian who knows how to be a better man than you. Most young men today have no clue what it means to be a man. But he doesn't know how to fix their tractor. <laughs> and is about to lose the farm because of it. My sources tell me there's a notice of pending default. Get off my land! Meanwhile, Grace calmly heads out to grab a cup of coffee. Have we met before? Thank you for reminding me of the most horrible day of my life. There she meets Jared, the guy who works at the jewelry store and also conveniently this coffee shop. After that lovely meet-cute, Jared decides to stalk her on the internet and just shows up unannounced at their house. How did you find me? Ever heard of the internet? But Grace forgoes her better judgment and pays dearly after Jared invites her in and then gives her a big smooch. He kissed me. I'm not sure what to do. So her friend suggests... Hey, I know. What if you call my mom's therapist? Resulting in the film demonizing mental health and therapy altogether. I like being with him. It's just that every time we're together, he wants to, you know, hug and kiss and stuff like that. Well, how will you know if the shoe fits unless you try it on? Unfortunately, things continue to get even worse for our hero after her brother spills juice on her school project. What am I going to do? This is my final project and it's due tomorrow. Drew apologizes and then Grace replies by saying, hey, I don't love you. Why don't you go play in traffic? Resulting in Drew getting hit by a car. Is he all right? Love Luckily, this hot doctor who just moved in next door happens to be close by with a first aid kit. Now plagued by the guilt of a kiss from Jared and the guilt of her brother kissing the front end of a Ford F-150, Grace finally breaks down and confesses her sins. I haven't been honest with you and mom about my dates with Jared. He's pushed our relationship to be much more physical. Your mother and I want to protect you from having your heart broken again. Me too, but how? I think the answer's been right in front of us all along. Soybeans? The soybeans must have really gotten through to her because immediately after she just breaks it off with Jared. And then Dr. Johnline shows up to say this. I'm seeking your approval to pursue a relationship with Grace. I'd like to get to know her better and explore the possibility of marriage. Jim gives his pop a blessing and also a coupon good for two large one topping pizzas. In the end, Dr. Clint fixes the family's tractor, saves the farm, wrestles with Jared, and then digs up his ex's wedding ring so that he can propose to Grace after dating for like one month. Will you marry me? In the last scene, a small goblin races out of their home, and then Grace delivers one final powerful message. Dad brought you by something today. Oh god, don't be soybeans, don't be soybeans, don't be soybeans! Soybeans. <laughs>